Welcome to Beauty Detective guys, in today's video I'm excited to share with you a super compact and portable espresso maker from Wakako, a brand that we know well from our previous review videos. Now the device is called the Pico Presso and in today's video I'll let you know what impressed me, what could be improved and obviously I'll go through the different steps needed to brew a shot of espresso using this portable device. To start things off I was pleasantly surprised by the unboxing experience which as you can see feels quite premium. Inside the box you'll get everything that's needed to get you started as well as some extras like the hard carrying case which will keep your Pico Presso safe while traveling. There are some additional items like a solid metal tamper, a metal funnel, a distribution tool and the instructions manual that comes with a warranty card and two Wakako branded stickers. Inside the device itself you'll find some additional items like a cleaning brush as well as a cleverly designed scoop which fits perfectly inside the filter basket. Moving on, I was equally impressed by the build quality of the device. In fact, in terms of materials used, it's mainly made of plastic, silicone and some metal elements but it all feels refined and well put together. One element that I particularly enjoyed is the metal groove for the filter which makes it easy to unscrew and the metal feels particularly sturdy. In fact, I liked it so much that I would have loved to see the same metal groove design used for the water tank lid as well, which is sometimes hard to open and close with moist hands. The water tank lid does however offer a great seal so no hot water will escape from the water tank. I also like the fact that the whole Pico Presso device can be taken apart which makes makes it easy to properly clean and keep in perfect working condition. With that said, let's talk about what really matters, which is the brewing capacity of the device and how user friendly it is. Now to get started, you'll need to put the double filter basket onto the port of filter, then go ahead and put the funnel on top, which will facilitate with transferring your freshly ground coffee into the filter basket. As a side note, the filter basket can hold up to 18 grams of coffee ground, and to get better results make sure to use ultra fine grind as recommended by Wakako themselves. Once that's done, if needed you can use the distribution tool to stir the ground before using the tamper to properly compound the coffee ground until the tamper touches the funnel. It's also recommended to preheat the cup and the Pico Presso device by pumping one cycle with boiling water before starting the brewing process. Once the device is preheated you can remove the funnel and place the shower head on top before screwing it to the Pico Presso device. As a side note, you can decide to either brew using the included port of filter head or using the naked port of filter to see all of the action. Talking about action, all that is left to do is add the boiling water, close the water tank lid and pre-infuse the coffee ground by pumping 8 strokes and waiting 10 seconds. Once that's done, resume pumping until you have a nice shot of delicious espresso ready to be enjoyed. Now I'm not a coffee expert but in terms of taste it really made me discover new flavors. The espresso is rich and intense with a little bit of bitterness to it but overall very enjoyable. With that said, I would definitely recommend the Pico Presso. In fact, I think this is Wakako's best product to date and at $130 the price is quite reasonable as well. Now as always if you've enjoyed today's video leave a thumbs up it greatly supports the channel, subscribe for more and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, thank you for watching and Review Detective out.